once again, here we are at the Mountain Year. We are tasked with... Well, last time we made our way out here, thinking that would be the end of it. Unfortunately, ended up not being the case. We're tasked with now basically doing a round trip. If I go ahead and take this quest here. It has a time limit, so I don't quite want to take it on just yet. We need to think about how we're going to do this. Now that this place is online, at least we have some structures to help us, but it is pretty sparse up here. And one of the main difficulties that we have right now is BTs. Uh, it's a lot harder to deal with them because we can't see them. Something I've no doubt complained about sufficiently. We can see the path that we took last time, and I'm doubtful that we will be able to bike our way out of here. I'm just not seeing it we could we could come down because this area here the map doesn't actually show it the this level of detail, but this area here was pretty rocky. Um but we could just kind of drive off the edge. Crash our way down. That's not gonna work going up. But really, what other choice do we have? We can fabricate some things here. Uh, we don't have anything in the private locker, but we can fabricate some things. Oh no, we can't. You know what? Okay, I, I guess I was wrong. Um, I thought that it would already be active. I'm surprised it's not. I must not have been paying enough attention during the cutscene. Well, let's let's set a tentative plan of trying to retrace our steps as best as we can. It's a, it's a long way. And we have our our new strategy, which I not sure is is fun. I'm not sure how reliable it is, but it has been working for the most part is just push on through the BT areas. Where is the dotted line? There it is. Weapons restrictions lifted. So if we if we can hit a generator on our way back, I think we will. Just go ahead and put a marker there. It's actually uh, kind of I'm not sure what the logic is, but the way that the waypoints work, it's actually pr pretty well thought out because. You noticed when I drew out this whole path, it was A1, A2, A3. Then when I went back in and started and just put down a, a new point. Yeah, right. Or I started, he's, he's forgetting that BB isn't with us. When I started putting down a new point, it let, lettered it, labeled it as C. So there's some intelligence there. Yes, we might just have to abandon the trike. <laughs> oh, I just realized... I just realized something. Uh, 
we didn't actually grab the quest. Uh, the reason, well, if it runs out of battery, it runs out to go on foot anyway. <laughs> I, I spent so much time planning for it that I forgot I hadn't actually picked it up. going through the snow a little bit better than previously, so this new power suit has that going for it. Okay, let's actually ac accept this quest. You need to retrieve cargo from the doctor and take it to the Mountaineer's shelter. It's a remote medical terminal. The patient needs it ASAP, so you're gonna have to move fast. But this is a delicate piece of equipment we're talking about. It needs to make it there in one piece. Don't leave anything to chance. The clients requested that you complete this order as soon as possible. In other words, speed will determine your eval. Keep in mind, however, that when operating outside network coverage, you won't be able to fabricate additional items. You'll need to choose carefully from the equipment provided by the client. Now the clock won't start until you set out. So, take your time to get your gear in order before you do. I think that our gear is mostly already in order. The most that I would consider is the floating carrier. But... I don't know, we didn't need it coming here, so why would we need it going back? Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Time limit set. Sam, in light of the patient's condition, I've gone ahead and put a time limit on this order. You can still deliver the cargo after it runs out, but I want you to move hell and earth to get there before it does. I know we keep piling things on you, but your BB unit can wait a little longer. And besides, beefing up the cargo network there should help it get better faster. Oh, we are already off the beaten path. Yeah, you know what? It'll probably be faster to just make our way there on foot. I don't know, I'm not so sure. Let, let's let's go back to the trike. It's not too far and it'll give us a bit of a speed boost, at least for as long as it lasts. But I don't know, we're going pretty fast on foot. Okay, A2. Really, uh... Can we just drive this way? Maybe not. Back on the path. As convenient as the trike is for getting through BTs, now that we have this suit, we might might actually 
be easier. Yeah, this thing is not going to last. I should have opted for the long range model. Who knows if it would have even been worth it. Considering, I, I don't know if we'll be able to make it up the sheer cliff we need to go up. And it's funny that, uh, oh yeah, we're, we're running out. It's funny that Dead Man, he mentioned something about building out the network, but do we really have time to, to be doing that? I wasn't, I was distracted. I've been, I've been, uh, tuning out. the dialogue a little bit too much lately. Yeah, this is really slow, so we're just gonna drop this. Now, what... What was I thinking? That was... We had no trouble going through there. Well, that's good to know. We can definitely trike our... Oh, we're going pretty darn slow, huh? Oh yeah, sure, we'll just go ahead and sneak right up on those VTs that we can't see. Thanks, game. There's probably audio cues. Look at that, we're making pretty good time. The animation looks really clunky, but we're going at a fairly decent clip. And we get a nice little speed boost. The adrenaline rush. I'm just trying to use the positional audio cues. Uh, make sure you'd be heading 90 degrees right. This. I'm just trying to use the positional audio cues to keep my distance. Sure, we could just pop them with a hematic grenade as soon as we see them. We don't have that much time. I guess we could also use the gun because... It's a little bit easier to just quickly take it out, take someone out with a gun if we put the anti-BT rounds into it. No, I wanted to put that away. So we definitely got here. nicely ahead of schedule. Where did the timer go? for us uh oh no i have to go all the way to doctor well that's not really worth it is actually worth printing a trike while we're here 
I think, because... We might want to put some of the materials on the side. I already own four vehicles, yeah. None of them are here, though. What is that nonsense? I guess it's... It probably has something to do with the database storage for my account. I'm trying to keep a, a, keep it locked down. So we'll just go here. Like we did last time. And uh, provided I can Weapons restrictions lifted. Good morning. See the path. Oh, there there are bridges now that should make it much easier. Maybe we can even use this one. Curious if the trike can go on these tiny bridges. Ha! <laughs> nice. Not, didn't exactly save us time, though. It felt a bit random. This is what I was looking for. Here. There you are. The Mountaineer just contacted me. The treatment I prescribed isn't working. We need to act fast. I hoped the antibiotics would alleviate the worst of the symptoms, but it looks like we're past that stage. An infection like this so late in the pregnancy can cause any number of complications. Even if she survives, there is a risk she could suffer brain damage. Even brain death. Now, I need you to deliver this prototype bioprinter and remote medical terminal to the Mountaineer. If you can connect them to me via the chiral network, I can use this equipment to diagnose the patient's condition and provide treatment. The terminal will allow them to transmit their genetic code, with which I can formulate a DNA vaccine for printing. At present, only vaccines utilizing viruses and other non-living components can be generated in this fashion, but future advancements may free us of this limitation. It should go without saying, but this is delicate equipment. Don't break it, whatever you do. Oh, and uh, thank you. Not too much. Will it let me make a safety save? I need to remember that we can reload saves that we've made. We're not going to lose our save. So it's fragile. Is it also like the pizza where it has to remain upright? No. We're getting a little top-heavy. But that doesn't really matter on the bike, as far as I know. Nice and fully charged. Really does make a big difference. Going on the bike versus... Uh, on on this type of terrain versus the snow. But let's not crash.
And I just realized why I don't want to... Trying to clear the waypoints. They're not happening. There we go. So where are we here? So we're just going to go back the way we came. Speed past the BTs. But yeah, why I don't want to put uh, put the cargo on the trike is if we get stopped by a BT and we have to make a daring escape, uh, then it's just going to be stuck on the trike. So I do not want to... I want it on my person. Let's not drive into rocks. Try to stay in the shallower areas. And just drive. I don't actually want to boost because until I need it, because what can happen is we end up boosting straight into a BT. So I only want to do it to get out of their range, basically. We are making good time. I wish the camera would just stay panned out. I don't like how... how... It's always changing depending on the situation. I just really don't like that. Sure, zooming in for aiming makes complete sense. But other than that, I want control over it. God damn it! I want the same amount of visibility that Sam actually should have. Look at this. Now here's something I didn't notice on our way here. It looks like a trail that's worn into the snow. And it looks similar to the path that we previously followed, so that's really interesting if it actually remembers where we went. And it... It actually starts to... flatten out a trail in the snow, that's pretty cool. And definitely to our benefit. Well, that went very well. It could have gone very badly if I hadn't realized that I didn't accept the quest. Awesome. Who needs a BB? Not Sam. Not anymore. We've learned that we can be a strong, independent porter. We don't need to know BB. Delivering. You're here. Oh, thank God. She's barely holding on. It's a good thing you hurried. Dr. 
said we need a chiral connection for this to work. So, hook us up. We'll join the UCA, whatever it takes. Go ahead. the terminal from my end. Just, just a moment. Everything's going to be all right. With this device, I, I can examine her as if I were actually there. The manipulators on the terminal perfectly reflect my movements here. And with the bioprinter, I can provide a custom-made vaccine. It's just a shame my better half hasn't had a chance to build any more of these things. You're looking at the only ones we have. Don't worry, though. We'll do everything we can to ensure your child is safely delivered. Oh, thank you. This is... this is incredible. You should thank him. The network he's helping to build is going to change the face of medicine forever. All right. Let's have a look at you. You've brought us the next best thing to a live-in, Dr. Sam. Thank you so much. Nicely done. BB-28 will be back in action soon. The kid's a real trooper. Stay the course, Sam. Heads up, Sam. Got a fresh order for you from a certain mountaineer. It'll take you to a region not yet covered by the chiral network. Suffice it to say, this is a chance to change that. Look into it as soon as you can. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Well, that went a lot better than I was expecting. Seems to be a common thing happening with this playthrough. So let's see what's up next. Now we take an order from the Mountaineer. Photographer. It's a main quest objective, but there was no briefing. That seems unusual. Oh, you're gonna love power gloves. They provide a major boost to arm and grip strength. If you're scaling a cliff with a rope, you'll be able to make your way to the top a lot faster. You'll also notice a difference when lifting heavy cargo. And that's not all. Ever take a tumble down a steep slope? you probably tried to slow your descent with your hands, right? Well, if you've got these on, you'll be able to stop yourself that much more quickly. Just promise me you won't try punching someone, okay? That's not what they're for. Is that a challenge to try punching someone? Level three bridge boots. We actually already have, have a pair of these waiting for us. Excellent. Yeah, let's definitely equip these power gloves. How's our stuff doing? Fourth of the way, except for the assault rifles, which are a bit older. They've Made a couple trips through the rain and snow. Order assigned. Well, let's see what's available to us. 
This area is significantly more built out. We need to go to the photographer. So that is... If we follow our usual road, we're going to be going pretty far out of our way. And I think we will go here. So let's see, is there actually a way through if we go if we go there? It it looks promising. Keep on keeping on. It's mostly downhill. There's a bridge, there's a generator. Yeah, this looks very promising. Then we'll link up with the usual pathway. We need to then find a way across. We want to cross in the area where it's flatter. The jump ramp and go here and there we are let's see how that let's see how that works and I would love to charge up before we head out I it's gonna be a little bit before we get to a generator I'm always surprised that there isn't a generator in the vicinity. Why should I not just go and build one? No can do, Sam. Structures can't be built that close together. Oh. You'll need to settle for a different spot outside the sensor ring. Why are we crouching? Weapons restrictions lifted. Beginning scan. Am I missing something? Like there's another way to recharge that I just don't know about? That's what keeps making me wonder why there aren't generators near facilities. Like there's a private room over there. Can we recharge the vehicle by putting it into the garage? Please show me the path. Please show it to me much more clearly than you are. B1. Uh, oh, it's not showing because we haven't really started navigation. That, that makes sense. That was the first node, and it doesn't path us there. Need to get ready to evade BTs. Actually, if I recall correctly, we maybe have Hello. been through this area before. And I don't know that we actually encountered any. Oh yeah, we could have totally made it here without building my generator. But hey, maybe somebody else will benefit from it. Somebody else who ran into the same situation as me. Probably want to be generally talking. <laughs> I know I tend to uh, talk over the music. It is intentional. <laughs> it's because... Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I don't, uh, I don't monetize any of these videos, but it shows up as a copyright claim, generally. Still not sure how that all works because I'm so new. Well, that's enough of uh, behind the curtain stuff. 
wanted to go there because it I know it restores cargo condition now we're really zooming maybe I can just shut up during these because ha haven't gotten any like strikes or anything like that just told me that it was recognized Not where I would have put the jump. That is that is a deep one. Well, I've never used these jumps before, so I'm not sure what I should expect. But let's give it a shot. We don't need any of that stuff. Okay. It was a troll. Oh, <laughs> no. There was a bridge right here. There was a bridge right here. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Uh, so he mad at grenade and a ladder. Whatever. I don't care. What happened to our trike? Yeah, at least we at least we went out in style. Steal this person's trike. Going slow and steady. Cause yeah, what I've hap what I found is if I just try to boost all my way through BT areas blindly, what ends up happening is boosting reduces your ability to turn. So you can very quickly end up in a situation where you boost straight into a BT with no time to react. So, save the boosting until you really need it. I guess it probably just completely obliterated our trike when we did that that trick straight into the <laughs> middle of the water. Maybe I used the ramp wrong? I don't know. I thought maybe the ramp would get me like more of a boost to help me get across. But it was not to be. You're from Bridges, right? You don't have anything else for me, do you? No? Okay. Never mind. Never thought I'd receive a delivery in such excellent condition. Hey, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could find my father's camera for me? It's kind of a long story, but he used to conduct field research in the area. My father believed that the key to understanding the Death Stranding was hidden here, somewhere in the caves and strata. But he passed away before he could complete his work, leaving me to finish what he started. And not long ago, 
I found something. Something amazing. I was sure it was what my father had been looking for. Even if I couldn't see how it related to the Death Stranding myself. What I needed was an expert opinion. Someone who could look at what I'd found and tell me what it meant. So, I grabbed my father's camera and set out to document my discovery. Took pictures of every last detail. But on the way back, I spotted a group of armed men and I panicked. Dropped everything and ran like hell. Thankfully, they never saw me, but when I stopped running, uh, I realized the camera was gone, case and all. I've been trying to pluck up the courage to go and look for it ever since. But then, I remembered that the cargo tag was still on the case. And I figured, you being with bridges and all, that you might have a way to pinpoint its location. Please, I'd give anything to have it back. I'm gonna put in the order. Please understand, that camera means everything to me. Until I know it's safe, I can't think about anything else. There's a terminal there you can use if you want to get started right away. Here. It's what I'd take if I were going myself. Knock yourself out. Good work. New order available. Another reluctant connection. Sam, the order's been posted. Take a look at the delivery terminal. They're not going to let us get on the network until we take care of this, even though... Okay, she can't think about anything else until we do it, but literally all it takes is Sam sticking the Cupid there, and then we're done. Why Why do we need to... And it's going to make it easier for us to retrieve the fo her father's camera if we're on the network. So the logic, it just completely makes zero sense. It's so contrived. And our guns are pretty rusty. Wow, that's really out there. And it's fragile. Of course, everything is fragile. Well, this area is pretty easy to get in and out of with the trike. Just retrace our steps. So, that's okay. But looks like we'll be taking on some mules. I think we'll save that for next time.